Hi, and welcome back to Perpetual Fitness Training. My name is Holly. Today, I have just a 15 minute ab, a real quick ab to do. I'm doing this after a workout, just at the very end to just finish off those muscles. So I'd like you to join me. All you need is a mat or a comfortable place to be doing some planks. All right, here we go. All right, so planks are on the menu today. We're doing repeater again. And so the repeater for this one are going to be knee jogs. Again, remember, <clears throat> excuse me, if you can't do the full plank, you're gonna modify by just holding modified plank. You can change it up by maybe reaching hands out instead. And just get creative, something that works for you. So we're gonna start by holding a 45 second plank. Each one of these are gonna be done for 45, oh, I lied, 30 seconds. I was being kind to you today. <laughs> 30 second hold with a 10 second break. All right, here we go. So I prefer to do my planks on my elbows. And we're gonna begin right into it. Shoulders down, away from the ears, belly tight, hips are slightly tucked. You pull, you're pulling those abs really tight. I want you to push those heels away and I want you to push the ground away. So you're not just sinking through the shoulders. I want you to be strong, push that ground away. Keep that tummy nice and tight. Oh, I forgot to sit my arm right here. All right, we're gonna take it down, just take a little break. So for a knee jog, it's the same position, but we're jogging the knees. You can come up to the hands for this or stay down on the forearms, up to you. Back into that good, strong plank. Get set first and then start to do that knee jog, just tapping the knees. I want you to keep your gaze down at your um, forearms or hands. So you're not looking at those toes. You're not looking at me. I'm not looking at you. That's for your neck. Keep it safe. Tummy's tight. Don't let those hips creep up on you. They like to kind of come up high. Start to make you look like you're coming into an more dog. Little break. All right, we're gonna repeat that. Breathe, enjoy these breaks. Back into it, full or modified plank, tummy's tight. Breathe, very important with plank. A lot of my clients like to hold the breath here. Breathe, are you still pulling the abs and keeping the tailbone tucked, pushing the heels away, pull up on the kneecaps. This is a full body exercise. It's not just for the core. You should feel those shoulders too, especially if you just had a good shoulder work. Last one in the series. Now we're moving on, changing things up. All right, find that good solid plank and then go ahead, go ahead and start jogging the knees, keeping the gaze down at the floor. If you need a break, knees down, so just sit back, release the shoulders, coming back into child's pose. Breathe. Abs in, tuck them in tighter, tighter than you think. They should be burning by now. Good, take it down. All right, I'm oh, still sweating for my workout. All right, moving on. We're gonna go ahead and do a boat pose hold and then flip over into that knee drop. So boat pose is a yoga, tummy tight. You're leaning back, arms release. You can stay here, you can lift one leg, you can lift two. The danger I want you to be aware of is this right here. Okay, this is not boat pose. The chest has to be up, that back has to be flat, those shoulders down. Everything in that upper body is nice and relaxed, the tummy is tight, and you're really feeling it here. Sometimes your legs will shake, but not rounding in the back. Here we go. Up top, pull on those shins, lift your heart, straight with the arms, stay here. Maybe you can release the hands. Maybe you can take one leg, maybe two. Maybe you can come up into that V-sit. That's great as well. Just lift that heart. I like to cross my ankles. Breathe. Shoulders down. Lift that heart a little higher. Pull that belly in a little tighter. Perfect. All right, knee jog, flip over. This is our repeater. Good. 
Here we go. Full plank. Good plank. And now start that knee jog when you're ready. Or you're modifying plank and just holding. You can also be modified plank, reaching those hands out. This just makes that core unstable and forces you to have to work harder to keep it in level position. That's the idea with the movement in plank. Belly in, tighter, tighter. Really squeeze that belly. You'll work it more efficiently. Ooh, all right, looking back. Holding on to those shins up top, shoulders down. Lift the heart, space between your chin and chest, lean back, straight arms. Release the arms, maybe release the legs, but always work to lift the heart. Pull your abs in a little bit more. Shoulders are down. They're not up in your ears. Nice and relaxed in that upper body. Nothing's happening up there. It's all on the core and below. You may feel the whole body shake. That's good, that's a good sign. You're working that tummy. A little more. And down. Woo. Flip. Back in that repeater. Here we go. Knee, 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 knee. You know what I'm going to say. Is your tummy pulled in? <laughs> Push the floor away with those elbows. Just breathe. Focus. Don't let those hips come up high. Keep them as low as you can. I want you to feel your tummy. That is the point. If you're not feeling the tummy, your hips are probably up too high. Or maybe you're not tucking that tailbone under or pulling those abs in. Feel them. Feel them. I don't want you to waste your time. Might as well get as much out of your workout as you possibly can. All right, so next up we're going to do a pulsing crunch. We're going to have a hip tuck while we do this. Going back to that knee repeater. So come on up to our back. Feet flat, pull your belly in, tuck your tailbone, come up high, crunch, crunch. Everything's pulled in. If we push out, we're gonna make this dome with our belly. And we don't, we want flat belly. So think about sucking the abs in, but you're tucking that tailbone to get those transverse abdominis. Breathe. Space between your chin. Don't tuck your in, don't pull on your neck. Woo! Knee jog. All right. You got this, come on. Here we go. Tap, 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 tap. Breathe. Now, if you're uh, used to doing plank and you're really good at them now, this may not be enough for you. So to challenge yourself, you can always pause it and hold it for longer. Shoulders down away from the ears and pushing away from the floor. Ooh. Okay, fast as you can. Feet flat, walk those heels in, tuck your tailbone, belly tight, lift that low back off the floor. High crunch. Crunch, you're gonna stay high. I want those shoulder blades off the floor. Find your breathing pattern that works. Just make sure you're breathing. Space between your chin and chest. We're not cranking up on the head. Those elbows are wide in that peripheral vision. They're just to support your head, not to lift. Lift with your tummy. Oh. Oh, it's so hard to talk while you're doing crunches. Here we go. Belly tight, straight legs, find that good plank, and then begin the tap. Pull your belly button in, pull it all the way to your spine. Feel that belly burning. That burn is what's changing the muscle. Strong abs are very important for a healthy back. They aid the back in all those moves we do every day. And release. Good. And watching my dad with all his back problems, man, I just don't even want to go there. So here we go. Are you ready? All the way down. We're going to do a ball, and then you're going to reach it out. So modification here. 
Head can come down, legs come up. Okay, it's right here. More experienced, stronger abs. Tuck, head stays up. And then maybe the legs go way low. Listen to your body, especially those muscles in the neck. They're small, they're small muscles, they get fatigued fast. They need to be strong just like the rest of it, but you gotta work within what you can do. Here we go. So choose your level. Maybe your head comes down. Maybe you can keep up for a little while. And then eventually it has to come down. Maybe you are Pilates queen and you can do these all day. Or I guess the Pilates king, huh? Exhale, inhale, exhale. All right, here we go. Back into that plank. And here we go, knee drop. Shoulders down, press the floor away. Now don't let anybody tell you you can't do anything. I teach seniors and a lot of people told them they couldn't do exercises they're perfectly capable of doing. And I had to prove to them that they can do it. So all you have to do is try. Just try it, see if it works. If you can do it, do it. <sighs> Unless of course it's your doctor telling you not to do it. Then um, I suggest you listen to his advice. <sighs> oh. All right. Belly tight, come on up, touch those ankles if you can. Reach out, inhale. Exhale, I had my breathing backwards. Reach, abs tight. Belly in, belly in. It's so hard to keep that belly in when you reach those legs out. One more. Good. Okay, you guys, this is it. This is it. And then we've done our abs. And jump. Boom. Boom. Breathe through this. Press that floor away. Push into those heels. Abs are in. Tailbone is plucked a little bit. Focus. All right, you guys, five seconds. We got this. Finish it up. Keep that form. And down. Sitting back in child's pose. Oh, feels good. All right, let's go ahead and take it all the way down. Just want to get a real quick ab stretch here. So here's one of my favorites. So you're going to come up into sphinx pose, which is just on the forearms. Those elbows are right underneath those shoulders. Tummy's tight. You're pushing the hip bones into the floor, lifting your heart. Shoulders are down. Push your chest out, pushing your belly button toward the floor. Now breathe into your belly. That should feel good. Releasing the muscle. If this bothers your low back, you can go ahead and come on out of this. If you want to try to take it a little further, you're going to press the hands down and just lift those elbows off. Shoulders down. This does take quite a bit of flexibility through the spine. So please listen to your body or your doctor if he's told you not to do this kind of spinal flexion. One more breath, breathe in that belly. And then go ahead and take it down. We're just gonna sit here for just a second. Hands next to the chest, tummy's tight. Now you're gonna push off the floor into tabletop. And we're gonna just come into cat and cow. Drop the belly, look up, big inhale. Exhale, tuck and round. <sighs> inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Last time, inhale. <sighs> and exhale. <sighs> and release, perfect. All right, congratulations. Thank you for joining me for this little ab section. Your abs are now stronger than they were when you started. I'm very proud of you for completing this. Feel free to come back and do it anytime. Just give your body a break. You never want to work the same set of muscles two days in a row. They need a day to heal. 
If you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you. You can hit like and subscribe, comment in the comment section. I do read them and I try to get back to you with any questions that you have for me. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day.